the kill the kill the bottle and the rest of its family. All the other bottles of alcohol. Oh, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, good. Good. Okay. I, I missed it right over my head, man. I'm, just, I'm in left field picking my nose while the game goes on. I mean. No, uh, apparently that's just me today. Uh, I, I was in a trolley kind of mood, and I, I guess I messed up a lot of things today like that. <laughs> I don't know what kind of mood I was in. I was I fucking... Go ahead. Oh, I was just trolley as shit, and I feel like it kind of got lost in translation with some stuff. <laughs> Every time I tried to do something, somebody would come by and ask me for something, want me to do something. Did you consider pulling a firearm on them? <laughs> uh, that's what everybody else is trying to do, pull a fire alarm. I, we, we're being sued, so I have to go to court on Friday. Oh, dear. Oh, my oh. God. No. Yeah, hey, one of our past residents uh, got a hair up their ass and tried to, tried to sue us. And, uh, it's, it's not that big of a deal. It's pretty much a slam dunk case. And, uh, I'll be there, I don't know, maybe an hour. Wow, you're confident. Well, I, I think we got things pretty well in hand, unless they have something I don't know about. <clears throat> These affordable housing pro, uh, programs are, are pretty much set in stone. We're really good as a company about following procedure. So, as far as I can tell, she didn't have a pot to piss in or a window to throw it out of. Um, I will warn you guys, uh, I did start streaming a couple minutes ago, so just kind of watch what you say about any ongoing Thank legal you issues. Much. Thank you very much. <laughs> Yeet. Um... All right, eight minutes. So if anybody needs to drink or bio or set things on fire, get teleported through space and time to magically appear on an island and be like, hey, bitches, what's up? <laughs> hey, fucker. <laughs> the fuck took you guys so long? And Trixie's just sitting there with a fucking coconut drink with an umbrella in it and like a floppy <laughs> hat. <laughs> I was love driving her. me nuts. <laughs> he and I can't agree on anything. So I'm taking a break. I came to help you guys. <laughs> I love her so much. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, if you want to bring Trixie in tonight, I will totally just roll with it. That sounds great. <laughs> I mean, if you don't mind me, you know, breaking D and D rules and dude, dude, what D and D rules? <laughs> D &D rules I am God. And relative at best. I am yeah. God. What I say goes. I took the donkey. You, you just flew on the donkey. Yeah, and you know, at one point I flew right past you guys. You didn't even notice. I waved, but you know, nothing. You guys were busy, probably <laughs> with bandits or something. You know, fighting uh, a fucking kraken. No big deal. Yeah, don't worry about it. Tricks. He's just like fucking flying overhead, going, huh? That looks painful as Mary's getting dragged off the boat and into no. the ocean. It just keeps I, going. <laughs> I know exactly what Trixie said. She looked down at the ship getting crushed by Kraken arms and said, hmm, I'm in the mood for calamari, and then flew off somewhere for it. <laughs> <laughs> what is octopus, or no, not Kraken considered? Is it considered octopus or squid? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> that that is a good question. I do not know. It's against uh, my religion to eat octopus, so my characters won't eat octopus either. Why well, is it against what's what's what about octopus makes it? I'm confused. This is not something I've heard before. They're extremely intelligent. You didn't know that? I did not. So we're not allowed to eat octopi because they're too smart. Yes. Well, the kraken are squid, so. <clears throat> Okay. I, in my opinion, anything that has a language of its own assigns names to its pod members and mourns when people when when, when members of the group die. That's a sentient creature, and that'll be murder if you kill one of them. Yes, that's just my opinion. 
octopi Wait. name other octopi? I don't know that there's any evidence for that, but <clears throat> lots of the whales do. They have their own language. Learn something new every day. They're amazing creatures. Absolutely amazing. Right, and they're one. probably out there swimming around in the ocean wondering why we stupid motherfuckers are trying to kill them. That's what I'm trying they're to probably, wonder, too. <laughs> they, pro they probably have all the answers to the world's problems. We just don't know how to communicate with them to get the answers. Probably. I, I will get behind that theory. Well, it's kind of like in um, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, how uh, the dolphins like had the answers <laughs> to <laughs> everything. Yeah. So long for all, the fish. for all the fish. You're right. Mm -hmm. Man, I just realized how fucked up Hades is. <laughs> Hades? Hades, yeah. The game Hades. The game I'm playing on right now. Oh, see, when you said Hades, I thought you meant you were going to go do, like, fucking Hades Extreme in Final Fantasy. Oh, no, no. <laughs> I was like, wait, what the fuck? Since when does Sven... You've got 15... That's why I was so surprised, because I was like, you've got 15 minutes, oh, bro. No, no. <laughs> but, like, this game starts, you get through the first area, and you have to beat the fuck out of your own girlfriend, <laughs> and then, like, you kill a skeleton, and then some some furry dude in between, and then and then you go beat the fuck out of your dad. <laughs> what the like, fuck? Oh, this is... This is a Greek tragedy. <laughs> it is literally a Greek tragedy. Sure something. <laughs> no one's so <laughs> casual about it. Yeah. Like, I have never... I've only died to Meg once. And every time I kill her, I see her back, and she's like, oh, just licking my wounds for next time, and it's like, I'm going to murder you next time. I'm sorry, Meg. I love you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, bomb. Hello? Oh, whoa? It's Hi, Cece! What's up, Cece? <clears throat> hey, Cece. asshole who's always what muted. <laughs> Sorry, Demi. It's okay. <laughs> Yeah, finally learning your lesson, eh? What do you mean? <laughs> Nothing. I feel really awkward now, guys. Why? Why? I don't know. I feel like I fucked something up now. <laughs> you no. fucked everything up. It's no. all your fault. Shut the fuck up, son. <laughs> Yes, Ben. Shut the fuck up. I'm sorry. I, will... I'm just, I was just going with what she was saying. I don't really mean it. Oh, so you're you're a trend follower? You're not your own person, huh? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking yeah. beta. Yeah. Oh, well, that makes you a beta cut. <laughs> that makes you a beta cut. I feel like you guys are referencing something that I'm not understanding. Uh, <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> Shadow, why don't you just stop playing video games then? Well, then I would be a beta cuck like you, Silver. <laughs> I don't get um, it. Um, not, not, not you, Silver. <laughs> no, it's it's um, it's called real time fan dub. It's where a bunch of uh, voice actors dub over video game cutscenes in real time in one take, and so that's. It was from the Sonic 06 one. Ah, uh, fuck, I have to rewatch that again. That shit's so good. So, where are we <laughs> dropping, boys? I don't know, but fucking DJ Sven is fucking slacking. The music bot is not saying anything. Hold on, I'll put two steps from hell on now. Fuck yeah, I love two steps from hell. That's SR. A hole in the sun. And then I'll put a... Oh, it's SR Play God. Fuck me in the b-hole. You're forgiven. Hmm? Yeah, Timmy, get on that. <laughs> what do you Whoa! mean you're going to special fate? Where's the special fate? 
Oh, it's moving. Why is this my responsibility? <laughs> you carry the fates of soul, little one. <laughs> hey, Dammy, can Piwacket turn into a fucking toucan? No. He is oh. a proud raven, and he is insulted that you would say that. Sorry, I just thought it would be fucking cool for Piwacket to turn into a fucking parrot and just be like, yar. <laughs> <laughs> well, we were singing. Aww, I like two cans. We were singing sea shanties earlier. So would fit with the mood, I guess. I thought that was really cool reading that. Yeah. <sighs> All right. I was gonna start at nine thirty, but I'm gonna hold off because we still don't have Ron and Tommy. Um, can, I can just kind of slap upside the head and fill in during downtime, but I would like for those two to be here, because I like them. <laughs> you saying that you don't like the person you're marrying, or? I mean, exactly what you're reading my thoughts. My, you should have seen my face <laughs> as I was going through these contortions, wanting to ask exactly that. <laughs> But keeping my mouth shut. <laughs> Look. Okay. That's what you have me for. I don't keep my mouth shut about nothing. There's like, and then there's like, like, and there's tolerating. Uh huh. Somewhere in that spectrum. It's just hatred. Pure, <laughs> <laughs> no, that's Pure only hit. when he starts fucking tickling me on stream. <laughs> <laughs> fucking asshole. <laughs> God. Hi, Tommy. Hey. hey! I love the little snort laugh, by the way. By the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why, why did I hear echoing? Uh, it looked like it was Tommy. Yeah. Hello? Hello. Hello. Hi, sorry for the hold up. <laughs> How fucking dare! What did you get for food? Um, well, Japanese food, and this time, and this time, my family joined in. We all got like ramen, uh, um, uh, chicken buns. I got a rice bowl instead for today. There's this restaurant called Benamon that's right beneath my friend's apartment in New York City, and they have the best rice bowls I've ever had in my life. Dude, I would be it. so fucked if I lived over a Japanese restaurant. Uh, he is. <coughs> Fuck. Yeah. He's... I don't like eggs, but I could use an omni rice right now. I, I never liked eggs in ramen. Ah, uh, now we're getting into the pirate music. Good. Oh, fuck yeah. Alright, let me. Ron is a butt nugget because he's making us wait. <laughs> well, it does, as long as he gets A, sick pulls from Modern Horizons 2, and B, wins his commander pod, it's all good. <clears throat> he's probably just in league with Ken, and they're both trying to delay us so that we don't start until 10 and we only get like an hour of playtime. <laughs> But why would they do that? I don't know. Boys are dumb. Those boys are dumb. Um, I, I resemble that for Mark. <laughs> <laughs> resemble? So you agree. Same. <laughs> Luke! Luke! <laughs> Snuck in here like uh. a sneaky snake. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Master so I was streaming. I was like, man, that'd be Hades. I want to see Sven die. <laughs> I don't die in this game. I collect necks. All right, collect and I can't necks. wait to see everyone die because he's handsome. Um, <laughs> I, I know he 
Luke makes a convincing argument. Also, the Hades character is also handsome. Oh my god, Luke, stop. <laughs> no. All right, I'm going to give it five more minutes, and then we're just going to get started and throw things at Ken and Ron. Eh, fuck I don't know you, why Ernie. he just doesn't concede to the match and show up on time. Oh man, I gotta go. Do you do you know Magic the Gathering players? <laughs> it's my MR. <laughs> They're stinky, I know stinky a... poopy butts. Well, I know a few from my other college group. Uh, yet another eloquent uh, description from Demi himself. So. <laughs> you have us mistaken for Yu-Gi-Oh players. <laughs> <clears throat> Those like motherfuckers Pokemon? are stinky. Is that like Pokemon, the training card game? Hold up, who's talking about Yu-Gi-Oh players? Me. They all smell bad. <laughs> Ooh. Tell me I smell bad. You're a dirty Yu-Gi-Oh well, player? Well, hold on. Let me get a Yeah, I like it. Uh, this I have what? a Dino deck. Let me, get a, let me get a real quick whiff of this set of underwear Luke sent me. Hold <laughs> <on>. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? How did you get a hold of that? You sent it. I added. I added your mom, and she sent it to me. Oh my nice god! Hold on, let me... oh, boy. Wait, wait, wait! I have so many questions. <laughs> so you're saying if we at Luke's mom, she'll send us his stuff? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I don't think she'll send you that, but she might send you drawings and stuff that I made way back when. <laughs> at Luke's mom, please post baby pics. <laughs> Oh, He'd probably do it. I have so many questions right now that I don't want to ask. Ask away. You can't no, say I... shit like that and then not ask the questions. No, I, I, I can't. I can't. Then do it. I'll do it. I'll ask for baby pics. Do it, coward. <laughs> At Luke's mom, please provide the most incriminating baby pics of Luke. Oh, Love gonna, all of sure us. I'll make sure to text my mom to make sure that she sees it. Because oh, I think Arc. we're still trying to figure out why her phone won't show her notifications. All I can think from that is a baby viking. A baby viking? Yes. I'm not going to have a beard as a kid. I mean, if you did, it would be awesome. And I feel like Tammy needs to draw that. It took me until, like, <laughs> I think I was 15 before I actually started growing a beard. I still and I, I only had it for like a good two weeks before my parents were like, "You're too young for that." Like, <laughs> you look oh like God. an elderly Amish man. Please stop. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. If you're playing tonight and you're not already in roll twenty, please get in roll twenty. Already in. I'm in. Still haven't decided. I'm in, I'm also just tabbed out to draw, but I will tab back in for game. I remember somebody said that their fish tank was on fire. <clears throat> fish tank? That, fish that, tank. That was, that fish was tank. Demi. You broke my and brain for a, a minute when was, you said that. Yeah, that was the point. It was a joke. <laughs> oh gosh dang it, I've lit the pot on fire again. What? <laughs> what? I mean, it happened the one time. It's surely gonna happen again. Do we mean like the literal yeah, lighting pot like on fire, like Ubo did? No, no, no. I lit a metal cast iron <laughs> pot on fire. Hell yeah! While I cooking see noodles. His butt is here. He's pulling in now. Yay! Dinky poopy butt. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Hi Stinky Nova. That's what we should yeah. do. We should make Nova play Zardos. No. I, what? You said no, stinky poopy butt. butt. We should. No, let's talk about Ron. <laughs> He's stinky poopy butt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. So people were pissing me off so much at work today, and like every time it happened, I just heard Sven in my head going <laughs> murder, <laughs> <laughs> murder. <laughs> Murder. Like, all fucking day. I just kept hearing that in my head. I'm like, I need to make this my fucking text alert or something. Uh, it's like that, that new family feud meme that's going around. Uh -oh. 
<laughs> okay, I, I don't know if this is a sign that Timmy has had enough sleep or not enough sleep that she's giggle snorting already. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Just let me live, man. Hey, <laughs> hey, I am not criticizing. You have seen what happens to me when you guys get going during D&D, &D, so. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think one of my favorite parts about tuning into your stream while we're playing is, like, seeing how you just physically react to the funny shit happening. Yeah! Like, it's it's honestly really good. amazing. It's really I good. really wish we could get everybody, or at least a couple more people on cameras, but... <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I'd rather I, die. I have a webcam I could use. I just don't know how we would like link it to. I think we'd have to use. You mean like? I think we'd have yeah, to use we... like the roll twenty interface. Well, the thing is, I think you might you might be forgetting about something. There's hmm. this thing called Discord, and it can actually run your webcam in the well, chat. Yes. But and then you can actually I... have a whole thing of like everyone that's in the chat and all their pictures and you can see when it, someone is talking i just don't want anyone recognizing me from only fans so <laughs> Man, that's understandable. okay bro how how do you like have an only fans that you haven't linked to us yet sir i don't yeah what the fuck uh, it's not don't fucking hold out on us, man. You gotta, you gotta keep work and play separate, you know? Dude, well, dude, our work... Hi, Ron! Hi, Ron. <laughs> hey, Ron. Hey, Ron. Hi. How was magic? Good. People would fucking hurry up next time. <clears throat> mm -hmm. You mean you don't have a little uh, plastic button that you hit that says, your, your go, your go, your go, GG, GG, GG? No, I got a guy that's got, you know... Dictate his every fucking move. Now I'm gonna cast this for three blue, two red, and a colorless. Oh, I'm gonna take that back. I'm gonna cast. Oh no! Hold on a second. So basically, you were playing against me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The cannons draw your sword. I have sixty-nine coins. <laughs> All right. Um. Everybody in and good to go. Do we place our tokens down or not yet? Yeah. Go ahead and throw yourselves down. I mean, you're just like it's just here because we're on a boat, yo. But I import a song. Oh, wow. We're on a boat. <laughs> uh, you just can get the YouTube link or Spotify link to the song, and or just know the name of the song and the artist and do SR play. <clears throat> name of the song, name of the artist. <clears throat> SR space play? Uh, yeah. Could I whip out my uh, sea shanties that drop your panties playlist? Absolutely. Is it gonna get me copyright violation? Probably. Absolutely. <laughs> then please do not. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> you might want to be mute in the music spot. SR play is it one word or two? It's just uh, it's SR, two. but you yeah, but you just have the exclamation in front of it. Yeah. All right, I yeah. could sing a, a song and credit the singer. <laughs> Do whatever you guys play, whatever you guys want. I muted the music bot. Yeah, I was gonna say you won't face copyright if if like if one of us sings it. So unless you sing it so good that that whatever bot they have to detect that is like oh that's the song if there are any spirits here does this sound like shakira <laughs> if there are any spirits here tonight tell me does this sound like shakira la, 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 la. <laughs> yeah you have yeah you gotta put in like the uh the that's links. not what i wanted how do i turn it off <laughs> uh you have to do skip uh, oh skip. no experiencing tactical difficulties oh it's <laughs> SR skip. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, we need six people now <laughs> to oh skip it. Or oh. an admin to force skip it. God, what? Skip. How do I skip? Fuck. I don't... Fuck. Shit, damn. Ugh. So can I get started? <laughs> uh, I'm ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, I'm just making sure, because the, the music bot and the fuck shit damn and... 
Holy shit, oh fucker. All right, so last session, you guys faced off against some, I can't believe they're not sirens, and then I can't believe it's not a kraken. Um, <clears throat> while you were fighting, Davina and Timothy were both conspicuously absent. They were asleep. Uh, you guys probably don't know this yet, but if, uh, Timothy and Davina, either of you would like to share some of what happened in the RP chats, or if you guys just want to keep your cards close to your chest. Uh, I, I think Davina would stay silent about it, but that doesn't stop Timothy from saying anything. They had sex. You, you got him, Demi. Congratulations. The size difference would be insurmountable. <laughs> if that were the case, I think Timothy would need a revivify, and none of, no one in the party has that, so. Um, I mean, Timothy would probably not say anything, only because he's not entirely sure what happened himself. And he's still trying to, like, collect butts. Uh, he might say it to the party, like, eventually. But, like, as of okay. right now, he's still, like... Traumatized. Bruh. Right. <laughs> he's, yeah, he's still <clears throat> in the phase of, like, bruh. Like, <laughs> staring at his hands, like, what am I? Ah, <laughs> like, uh, the five stages of grief. Dude. Yeah. Bruh. bruh. Huh? Whoa. And what does my tattoo say? <laughs> Dude. <laughs> What is my name? Sweet. Sweet. Okay, so um, after the fight, uh, the ship was a little beaten up because uh, the Kraken did, in fact, slap the shit out of the boat and dragged Mary down into the ocean. She was rescued, thankfully, from uh, some awesome shooting on Stormy's part and uh, a beautifully aimed life preserver that bonked her in the head. <clears throat> Unfortunately, the front uh, ballista on the ship was damaged. For the time being, they have moved one of the rear uh, weapons up front. Uh, but right now, it's kind of... You're, the ship's actual firepower is pretty limited. Um, they put in to do repairs on a small island... Um, just really a pile of rocks more or less down here so you were there for about a day uh you had time to go ashore talk uh full rest all that good stuff repair your gear uh make sure your firearms were properly dried out and in working order <clears throat> i know mary had some concerns about that since you know she got pulled into the goddamn ocean and salt water and guns don't mix uh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so it's so been mo guys, huh? When uh, when this song plays down here, the one that I put in, that's the song that Stormy was doing. When it comes on, turn it up so you guys can hear it. Ah, uh, right. Uh, let me know when it's on, and I will make sure to turn it up. Or you could just pay attention. Uh, okay. Yeah. Fine. Or Fine. Okay. I was okay. just trying to be casual about Kids. it. Kids. But fuck you, Demi. Kids, you're, you're all pretty. You're all pretty. Girls, girls, you're all pretty. I will turn this caravel around. Fuck me? No, I, you wanna I'm just fuck prettier. me? <clears throat> well, come on over here and fuck me, Gord. Uh, what? Freddy got fingered? <laughs> Never seen. <clears throat> Alright, so after a day of repairs, the ship sails back on its merry way. Uh, they cut wide of the uh, Imperial outpost here just to make sure that they're not spotted. Um, Mistral makes sure that there is kind of heavy fog cover while you guys sail around. You manage to dodge some Imperial scouting ships and patrols, and you drop anchor on the far side of Cross Cove. So you'll pro I don't have a zoomed-in map of this, so you'll just want to zoom in on the actual world, well, region map. But um, as you come ashore, you're going to be hitting kind of a sandy beach with dense jungles and kind of nifty looking plants just right up a few feet off the beach. 
um, there's a heavy sound of like buzzing insects and bird calls and all kinds of nature channel kind of shit going on. <clears throat> um, so the seas right now are pretty calm thanks to your neighborhood friendly uh, storm caller. Uh, and you ha are all gathered uh, on top of the deck to get your shit together to go ashore. Um, Captain Strike kind of calls everyone to attention and announces, <clears throat> everyone going ashore, make ready. I'm gonna need three of you bastards to go down there and get those bones, another two per coffin. We've only got four boats left, so make it good. Davina will probably volunteer herself to carry one coffin alone. Because I'm pretty sure she can do that. Probably, yeah. I'll help carry something. Cool. Yeah, Stormy Timothy will help as will, well. Timothy will also help, despite not being very strong. <laughs> he just likes to be helpful. He can he can help Davina with the, the baby yeah, coffin. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Like she's already got it like on her shoulder and he's like he's just got his hand up behind it like i won't let it fall yeah, yeah exactly that's exactly what he's doing he's like yeah you got it you're good it's but balanced he's only like five foot five five foot six she's eight foot tall yeah that doesn't even, mean he's he, not gonna try even with his arms completely stretched out he can't reach the coffin he's gonna try his best okay leave him alone oh, oh. Stormy is gonna love seeing this. Yeah. Bardic inspiration, man. <laughs> Fucking Davina gets a bardic inspiration die, and I'm not even gonna, you know, charge Timothy one. <laughs> Part of me yeah. imagined Timothy hanging off the back end of the coffin. <laughs> He's hanging off of it. He's hanging oh, off okay. of it. Right. <laughs> That's good. <clears throat> yeah. No, I like to think that, yeah, like, like he, like, reached for, like, the back, but she just picked it up, and he just went with it, and he's like, I guess I live here now, and he looks like one of those motivational posters with the kittens hanging off the branch that says, hang in there. Oh my god, you need to draw that. <laughs> okay, I will. <laughs> uh, Mary, uh, Mary is gonna, he is gonna be quite hesitant about it, since, since she's... She's not the type of girl who looks like she can barely hold her own weight. <clears throat> She's gonna call out, is, is there anything else that, that I could do? Uh, Mistral just waves Mary over and uh, shows her how to get the longboats ready to, to go to make uh, landfall. Alright. I guess I can do that. All right, so Mr. Gertuck is going to look all of you over, make sure, you know, to check in with you. Everybody's got their powder. Everybody's got their weapons. And Betha walks over with a small vial of green fizzy liquid in a clear, it's a clear glass vial with green fizzy liquid inside. And she shakes it at you. She's like, Bug spray, you're going to need this. <laughs> Mosquitoes. Uh, mosquitoes. Definitely gonna take mosquitoes. advantage of the bug spray. <laughs> Mary will hold her hand out to to receive the bug spray. Uh, thank you. She just kind of flaps it at you like a a priest with one of those holy water things in in a <laughs> Catholic church, just like splashes you with it. <laughs> it smells <laughs> god awful, like friggin'. Rotting fish and horse piss. <laughs> bug. So bug spray smell. Got it. Yes. <laughs> Wait. There. They're all set. Just uh, watch out for the birds, okay? Big birds. <laughs> By birds, does she mean, like, seagulls, or is it a different kind of bird? Big birds. <laughs> Kevin! Okay. It's Kevin. So, a member of the cast of Sesame Street is flying above us. <laughs> yes! 
Yes. <laughs> Love it. Mistral just kind of giggles. No, she's not lying. Um, the last time we were here, we almost lost a couple crew members. So, the birds are kind of a bigger problem than the mosquitoes, even though the mosquitoes do carry diseases and stuff. Then, anyway, the captain says that she's gonna keep everybody here except for her and us, and we're gonna take all this shit and dump it in the ruins, and then. Mr. Gurry is going to take, how many did you say? Whatever. He's going to take the rest of the people and head south, and we're going to meet up and blow things up. And it's going to be great. Come on! <laughs> All right, did you follow suit with the coffin and tell? Unless we put it somewhere, right? Uh, so you would load the coffins and the dragon's remains into two of the longboats, so probably coffins in one, dragon bones and people in another. Um, I'm just imagining that they talked to the dragon bones into burlap sacks or something on wire okay, thumb. Song, and... song, guys. Turn it up. <laughs> Thank you for letting me know. I will turn it up. Let's get turned, yo. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> Uh, Davina will specifically go with the longboat that is carrying the child's coffin. Oh, music bot left. Okay, mm. Good. goodbye, music bot. I guess yeah. you could just that do was... that. I don't know. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> Did somebody disconnect the bot? I didn't kick it. No, that wasn't it. Finn, don't it do that on one its again. Own free will. Oh, it wasn't that one? Oops. No. Well, it didn't go anyways. Devil makes three. All right, somebody roll me a d8, please. Not it. Okay. Oh, okay. No, I said not it. Oh, okay. So go ahead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's d8. Bloop. All right, so with Mistral kind of guiding one of the longboats and Stormy guiding the other, you guys are able to more or less make your way to shore without any issue. Um, the Both longboats are kind of low in the water. Uh, you can see behind you the other landing parties in the remaining longboats kind of cutting off at an angle further down the shoreline from you. <clears throat> So okay. you you land on a beach and I fuck me I don't have this anymore. Sorry, give me a sec. Timmy, did you decide if Trixie was coming or not? Or Demi? Introduce, introduce me. Introduce you. All right, let me pull up a fucking beach map then. I will reuse the uh, the beach map from earlier in the chapter, even though it's not at all the same beach. And there are no dead bodies. But it'll work. It's fine. Everything's fine. Alright, so you guys make your landfall, and none of the arrows and the dead people are there. So go ahead and throw yourselves on the map. Uh, Mistral, you're fucking huge. Yeah, that's what happens when I put shit in the uh, maps layer. <laughs> are the bodies there? The bodies are not there. No. It's just the trees and the sand and Trixie sitting with a fruity coconut drink. <laughs> More like one of those lounge chairs that you lay in. Un you know, you unfold them. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. For canon purposes. All right. Glasses. <laughs> big, big hat. Big Timothy's tit. just, Timothy's just gonna squint and look for it and be like, "Is that Trixie?" I'll pull down my shades a little bit. Hey, sweetheart. And I'll go. Oh, ahoy there. Uh, uh, ahoy yourself, Trixie. Um, I mean, if you want to get me bourbon, that would be lovely, but... 
Mary's gonna turn around and look over here. You um, don't have to, because it's ten o'clock. You're not gonna find what? anywhere selling it. What on earth are you doing here? Well, that's oh, not I'll very polite. You. Maybe, but don't worry I'll about tell it. Tell ya, Renzik was driving me. Crazy. Uh, yes. I, just I only didn't. I have there. the brats done. I, I didn't make the tater tots because I didn't think they would and stay good. So. Oh, how relate? Oh, how relatable? How relatable? In that case, you're more than welcome to join us. I. Ha wow. Mary. All right. Thank you. I love you. Also, not very polite. Bye bye. <laughs> Rinsick, that's because Rinsick just may be more kind to you than me. Uh, Rinsick? Right. Uh, sure. Any. My apologies uh, to the way, stream. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah. It's good to see you again, Trix. Yeah, see you too. So, what are we doing? Taking some dead bodies back to the tombs we robbed them from. And then we're gonna go kill Imperials. Oh, huzzah. Huzzah, huzzah. <laughs> Yay, murder. <laughs> Woo. So long, if I, so long as I could at least find some answers before, before the... The, the blood scene uh, commences. It's, you'll get no arguments from me. Mistral kind of wanders over to Timothy and drapes her arm over his shoulder. Oh, come on, little guy. What's wrong? Nothing's wrong. No, no, nothing's wrong. I don't, why would you think something's wrong? Everything's fine. <clears throat> it's fine. Everything's fine. It's fine. It, he gives her a thumbs up and a smile, like, yeah. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> well, it's kind of hot out here, but I suppose I can't go adventuring in my bikini. I'm gonna go get changed. And then I just twinkle, twinkle, and my clothes change. So do you do the, like, Sabrina nose wiggle thing? <laughs> uh... No. The nose wiggle is. Or is that Sam. bewitched? That was bewitched. bewitched. Oh. I don't know. That's cute, but it's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Did you guys ever watch. Um... Oh my god, what was the name of that anime now? Oh my god, I can't remember it. Two Stupid it Dogs? Not... No, it That's had not an anime talk. And, uh... <laughs> Anyway, Corey, they, had this, they, they had this one uh, one female character that was kind of like a paladin, and when she would change into her ultimate armor, you know, she would go up and she would kind of be naked and, and change. That's what I imagine when, when Trixie is doing this. You mean fairy tale? Fairy tale. Fairy fairy tale? tale. Thank you. That was it. Yeah. So so it's like when Reen turns into Shiva and freaking yeah. Right. Yeah. Nobody's supposed to look. To <laughs> Wait. All right. <laughs> no, no, never mind. All right, so I'm just going to assume that Zardos and Zalram would be able to carry one of the coffins between them. Uh, Davina has the other, and then everybody just grab a sack of bones. Would that work for you guys? Works for me. I could try. Yeah. Excuse me, but Timothy is very much helping with that coffin. Bardic inspiration. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, now I'm just imagining him doing like this little weird shuffle step. <laughs> this is me helping. I'm giving you bardic inspiration. <laughs> oh. Pop um, the collar. <laughs> can I ask a question? Yes. Um, how, like, what is the coffin made of again? <clears throat> is it a wooden coffin? Or it is, was oh. it was some kind of metal, and I recall the lids being quite heavy for Davina, but she would notice that they're rather lighter now. Like it, it for her at least, it feels a lot lighter than it should with how hard the things were to open. Uh, well, that can I check inside? You can if you would like. 
I would like to do that. Yes. All right. So you set the coffin down on the sand and you peek under the lid. And you had the kid skeleton? Uh, yeah. All right. Inside, you see some teeny tiny elvish bones. Nothing okay. looks disturbed. Nothing looks like it's been stolen or missing. Okay. Close it back up. Pick it back up. Well, uh, now that I know it's metal, it can be used as an improvised weapon in emergencies, so... Uh... God. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, um, so marching order is going to matter here. Uh, Mistral is going to lead you guys um, through the jungle, just because she was with the last party that came through here. Uh, I'm going to just say that Zelrum was also with them, so uh, anybody else want to I'm sorry for moving you, Ron. I'm just like, la, 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 you guys are carrying this. Yeah, la, la, la. You're fine. I mean, you could totally just be like, nope, fuck this and make Zellroom carry it all. And I'm sure he would. <laughs> yes. You're swim just, back to the ship. <laughs> just swim back to the ship and raid Mr. Gertuck's private stash. <laughs> <laughs> Davina will place herself uh, up front next to Mistral. Okay, so as you guys make your way inland, um, with, uh... Helping up tail in Charlie. Okay. Uh, as you guys make your way inland, you notice the, the trees and undergrowth get dense very quickly. Um, it's a hot day, uh, humid. You can definitely, like, feel the sweat start to get in all the unpleasant places, the small of your back crotch all those all those yucky lovely places oh, <clears throat> um you notice stinging insects kind of zipping by going vzz, vzz. one bonks off of zelrum's head and he just kind of says something scathingly australian about it <laughs> timothy's ears are gonna like twitch in each direction of the zippy zooms of the bugs <clears throat> um I, go ahead no i was gonna say you just see mary like like swing her hands like around her knee as she's trying to swipe the bugs away as she's walking yeah sorry about that guys i would summon some winds to keep them away but i kind of don't want to in case we meet any you know bad guys <laughs> <laughs> They're little more than a minor inconvenience. Says the lady who's like 800 feet tall. <laughs> Does that I mean, mean I'm immune to bug bites? No, but relatively speaking, you're much larger than them, whereas we're just a little big. Well, okay, we're a lot bigger than them, but you're much, much lot bigger than them. And What, yeah. what are the portents of a mosquito drinking... Savina's blood. I have no fucking clue. I, I don't either, <laughs> but I'm not gonna make create that question. Now, now I kind of want to see, but all right. Um, so this map is actually kind of big. Uh, you guys are, you may have to zoom in because it's uh, yeah, sizable. It's beautiful. Holy fuck. Yes, it really is. <clears throat> I had to zoom out. Uh, what side of the map are we starting on? Uh, so you're actually coming in down here. Okay. Down where? Down here, where Timothy just put his little key head. Ah, uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I said, I had to zoom out. Okay, there we go. Well, zoom in, zoom out. However, you prefer to look at the map. Yeah, I zoom in close to where the characters are. I'm um, just in first person mode. <laughs> <laughs> God, I wish. <laughs> God, I wish that were me. <clears throat> All right, so after about 20 minutes of walking, uh, carefully picking your way through uh, vines, underbrush, uh, you see some birds fly overhead that are pretty damn big. Uh, think condor-sized? Heaven from up. Lost reference. <laughs> I don't. I don't get that. Oh. I get it. Have you not seen up? No. 
That would be why. I only know up from memes. There's a giant bird in that movie. Ah. Uh. <clears throat> now let me put Zoram on the board too, since he's over here with Zardos. Uh, so you come through, you push your way through some very thick uh, brambly bushes, and you see what looks to be kind of a more or less cleared space filled with um, rubble. Uh, the rocks here, uh, the paving rocks, look like uh, just your general sort of cobblestones or uh, cut rock. The... The ones that actually make up what used to be buildings almost look like they were formed, uh, like they were cast. Like if you were to drop a uh, molten metal in a mold and cast it, it looks like that, but it's rock. And even though it looks kind of weathered, it's still got in, sp in spots a bit of a shine to it. And if you've ever seen um, documentaries about the Inca, and how the blocks of their walls fit together like so perfectly that you can't even get the blade of a knife between them, even though uh, even though they don't use mortar. Um, like it's it's like that. Each block is married to the one next to it almost perfectly, but there's no sign of tool marks on it, and um, there's no mortar or anything like actually sticking the bricks together. <clears throat> Can I make a history check? Go for it! Please? Can I make an right. investigation? Can I okay. make a history check? Uh, okay, so, Timothy, um, how closely do you want to look at this stuff? Because as, as you walk up and you start to, like, look at the, uh, the ruins, your vision's gonna kind of go blurry a bit and you're going to see it almost like an overlay like you're going to have an augmented reality going on where you see the ruins but you also see ghostly images of what the buildings looked like uh before they were destroyed um so for you you'll actually see like these uh two three story uh buildings of stone that actually you don't see any seams in the stone at all they look like they're just sheer gray and silver faces of rock and they have these really pretty stained glass windows in kind of um lots of uh nature themes but it's more more like mountain and uh cave and volcano type stuff than pretty flowers and vines and roses and woo! <clears throat> Ooh. Um, and the longer you look at it, the more it's like watching um, a video, a time-lapse video, where like you see the plants grow and then die and then grow and then die. It's kind of like that, where you see the buildings just, you know, rise and then they set and then they start to crumble and then they rise and they set and they start to crumble. Cool. Interesting. Huh? Um, yeah, just give me one sec. Uh, uh, I was going to ask. Um... Sorry, Ken just got home. So I was going to take a quick break uh, and then I'm going to get to Davina's history role and then I'll get to your question, Tom. Sure. Perfect. So go ahead and take five. Cool. Right. I will continue to draw and listen to Avenge Sevenfold. <laughs> I'm almost done drawing this fucking comic.
For anyone, anyone who saw the uh, skeleton meme I sent in NSFW yesterday, I just found the uh, follow-up to it. Oh, yeah. Why? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> uh, sir? <laughs> uh, sir? Oh, is it the one where... where oh, 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 I know what you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think I'm going to get another cup of tea. All right. Cool, 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 cool. All right. Oh, my God. You all right? I just, I've been trying to draw this comic for, like, four days. <laughs> it's just, I want it done. I'm so tired. Yeah, I was going to take a drawing. I was going to take a drawing course, but they won't give it in the evening. You got to go during the day, and I can't because of work. Oh. I wanted to learn to draw a little bit so I could join you in all that fun. Yeah. I remember I've... I took a drawing course one. Oh, go ahead. I was just going to say I've never taken a drawing class. I just draw. <laughs> Well, I you only get better like by doing. Exactly. And see, I need something like that so that I have assignments and I'll actually do the drawing. Yeah, and that's why I took introduction into drawing back when I was going for my associates. I I I passed it surprisingly well. It's just that um I yeah, of course, uh, of course they're not going to teach me how to draw like something like fantasy or like cartoonish. Like no, it's going to be like a realistic drawing. Which well, I yeah, don't mind. you have you well, you have to learn fine arts basics and anatomy, so that way you mm. can properly translate it into a, you know, stylized art style. Right. Like that... you, D Disney artists don't just do Disney art style; they, you know, they can do any style because they have the fundamentals and foundations of, um, real realism and all that. Right. Um, I... Like when like I how when we first the, started when I like, talked to oh, the instructor, sorry, go ahead, Tommy. No, I was gonna say that like how we first started, we we started with like uh like headshots, like to draw Ripley. like with like our face and everything, front face, three fourth view. Yeah. Then we move on to the, and then we move on to like like a full like body sketch so where we bought like these huge sketch patch and everything. Like the one but like the one thing I I fear from that class was like, like our teacher was trying to get us to like draw like uh, like a new model. I was not prepared for that. I mean, yeah, because you need you need to have that reference of anatomy. Yeah, yeah it's just a, it's it's different when looking at a new picture versus like 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 completely in real life. It's just I I don't know why it sounds stupid, but. But I didn't want to go with it. Where they start a set, and the one I was looking at, they teach you, you start by drawing shapes. Yeah. They start you out just drawing things like cubes and spheres and just all kinds of things. And then you move from that into to other things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which is where I need to start, the very beginning. All right, guys, I am back. I'm sorry. It's okay. No need to apologize. apologize. Mm -hmm. uh, Ken will be joining us in a couple minutes. He is just shoving food in his face hole and doing the, hey, look, I got home from work. What are pants thing? Ah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good hey, for girl. him. I agree uh -huh. 100%. When you're home from work, pants do not exist. Hell yeah. Unless, 
unless they are pajama pants, then they can exist. <laughs> yep, yep, I can't attest to that. <laughs> All right, do we have everybody back? I am, yeah. I am here. Yep, I'm still here, I'm still here. breathing. I'm here in spirit. Here in spirit. Okay. Uh, I owe Davina a history check. So, Davina, as you look at it, um, you see parts of the uh, of the the footprints of the buildings, and from the way the stone is worked, it reminds you of um, kind of the capital of the ancient Dark Elves from around the period of the war between the Valks and the Dark Elves. But it seems really out of place because you remember that city being underground. Um, and as you come through the trees a little more looking around, it seems even more out of place just because the way the buildings are laid out, the the broken fountain over here and the, the patterns of the cobblestones, it seems so much like the ancient uh, Dark Elf capital of Nadogir but it shouldn't be on an island in the middle of the ocean. It should be fucking underground somewhere. Okay. Oh my. Um. Fuck. Yeah, I'm not really good at trying to figure out why that would be here. Middle Gear. Okay. okay. Past Middle Gear. All right, all right, Zerim's, Zerim's here. here. We are all good to go. What's up, Hello. fucker? What's up, you Aussie fuck? I say affectionately <laughs> as a former Aussie. I got I might. Did the mistral, mistral thing happen? The mistral thing happened, but I didn't tell anybody because you weren't here. Oh, okay. Oh? Oh. Oh. No. Was Mistral sneaking off and doing things and not telling Stormy about it? Oh. The air and the earth become one. <laughs> <laughs> you could say, say that. that. No, Ken had the, the idea the other night, and, well, one or other, or both of us was intoxicated, uh, that Zelrum and Mistral should hook up, and that while they were uh, ashore doing repairs, um, someone should come to find them and just catch them and flagrante delicto. <laughs> I fucking love it. Did you it. say that in English so that I can understand? While fucking. <laughs> ah, okay. Thank you. <laughs> we can just... <laughs> well, no, because Trixie was on this island. I'm not. Hmm? I was trying to tell me I was muted. <laughs> well... Stormy wouldn't have done or said anything, and she had she found you, she would have just thought, "Well, oh, good for you," and gone on about her business. <laughs> Trixie, can I join? My bad. <laughs> 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 I was like, "Well, well I'll be okay. Well, I'll be okay Trixie. with this." What so is it? looks so over at uh, 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 Miss Roll with a smile and a gr oh, with, with, with a big shit eating grin. <laughs> As, uh, as someone who has tried that in her their, in their recent past, it usually doesn't go over well. The things you learn about Yolani. Girlfriend anymore. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, you tried to ask your girlfriend and her lesbian friends if they would oh have God. like a threesome or some shit like oh that. Oh my God. Well, I was the pretty hell? drunk at the time. I what mean, the hell? I like in the past, but, Why? You know. Wow. I love what I can make this D&D into. <laughs> I was doing a perfectly cool, hey, look, you guys just came upon some weird random dark elf ruins, and then you're like, what's up, bitches? Let's fuck. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> okay, well then, to go with that, Silver, I'll say that Trixie looks <clears throat> upon this dark elf ruin as if it looks so familiar, and then she looks at it in amazement. And then she blinks and goes, oh, okay. So what are, what's going on now? <laughs> All right. Uh, if Davina's done with the history check, we'll move to whatever Tommy's question was. Is anybody saying anything? 
Uh, yeah, I said, yeah, I was done with the history check. I don't know if anyone heard me. No. Okay. Well, yeah, I'm done with the history check. <laughs> uh, did Tommy say anything? No. Okay. No. He did not. Okay. I was... Yeah, I was just gonna, I was gonna ask if I can make a perception, uh, no, not, not a perception, an investigation check like around the rooms to see if you can find anything of interest. Well, it's a pretty big ruin, and there's a lot that could be interesting. So, where specifically are you looking? <clears throat> well, yeah, Stormy looks around. She finds some rocks and some trees. <laughs> and bushes. There's some well, birds over here, too. Oh, and look, some bird shit. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Get this stuff. Oh. Isn't it neat? Okay, so... Mary... Like somewhere up... All right, so you're going to go over there and dig through the rubble? Yeah, at least uh, at least walk up ahead and see if she can find anything. Like, up the path. Get, all right, and you're doing, are you doing investigation to find things or perception to look for things? Uh, investigation. All right, give me an investigation check. Okay. Uh... <clears throat> all right, so as you're walking along, you kind of crouch periodically to uh, just push your feet through the rubble, kind of pick a rock up here or there. You see some um, some writing on some of the rocks you're picking up, and it looks somewhat familiar. You can tell that it is an older version of the Elvish uh, you speak and were taught as a child. Uh, the only difference is that this has some very uh, unique characters in the language so it looks like basically there are extra letters to their alphabet or extra symbols to their um their pictographs uh you see some bits of broken glass uh that are very weathered um some colorful some just look almost like clear rocks um but nothing really that interesting. You see some bugs. A beetle <laughs> crawls up your arm. Alright, um, okay. Well, one, uh, Mary is going to swipe the beetle off her arm. And, and number two, um, with the rock with the old uh, Elvish writing on it, even, even though it's of an, an older uh, generation of writing, could you still be able to make out, like, some of it? Um... All you can really see on it is a couple letters. Most of it's pretty weathered. It looks like it might be part of a name. Uh, you recognize uh, the letters that would spell out E-L, which usually indicates a female name. Mm -hmm. But other than that, you really don't notice too much. It's really old. It's really weathered. And like I said, there are some fairly unfamiliar characters in the script. I see. All right. Well, I was uh, setting the rock down, and maybe it's gonna walk back and head back with the uh, uh, with the others. Uh, finding a uh, good bit of information, but nothing that'll provide as much useful as I wish to to tell with the group, unless somebody asks. Yeah, it's it's just a bunch of old dark elfy shit uh come on we've gotta get this stuff put down uh so we can just get back to the actual work um tomb's right over this way come on rockhead oh oh yeah all right um i had also rockhead said affectionate i also <laughs> had said that zelrum may have uh come with them on their previous mission to well, these can ruins I do one last thing i, I don't want to hold it up for much longer though hold things up for much longer put them on okay go ahead just uh, my I just want to look in this well. What is this? How does it go down far? Uh, so this is actually it's a fountain. This doesn't oh, go okay. down at all. Um, but as you come by, you can see this is like a, a kind of a rocky cliff edge type thing, and then about ten to fifteen feet down, there's this dark sort of tunnely pit. And you can see bugs crawling around, some spider webs, some slime. It's pretty dark down there, but um, 
it does look like it would be an unpleasant fall. It's ghosting. Okay. Uh, I'll take note of that and return to the party. Uh, really quick before you do that, roll a d10. I thought he was about to say roll initiative for a minute. I was like, I, I got scared for a minute. Six. You rolled a six. All right, so as you are moving away from that spot, you hear a rustling in the bush above or the trees above you and um a giant skeletal bird kind of drops down at you shrieking i hit it with the coffin (laughs) (laughs) all right make make an improvised attack roll (laughs) Uh, 1d20. I didn't even add my mod, but does an 18 hit? Uh, fuck. I just closed the tab. Where is it? Hello? No, no, I'm sorry. I'm looking something up. Uh, yes, that hits. So it's... Slash R for improvised. It's 1d4 plus my strength mod, and I'm proficient. So 9 plus... Oh god, what's level 20 strength mod? Uh, okay, 1d4 plus uh, 15. Got it. Uh, 17 bludgeoning damage, I'm assuming? Alright, so you whack at it with this coffin, and it kind of it gets blasted backwards. Pieces of it fly off. Um, so it's knocked to the ground, but but it's still animated. Like, you can see the bones scrabbling. It's trying to get up. <laughs> uh, all right. Um, foot on the skull. Crush it into the ground. Uh, unarmed strike. All right. The skull just goes pop. And, um, yeah. Skeletal bird is the, the dead again. Okay. Uh, we'll continue onwards without a word. Does the rest of the party see that, or? Yeah, no. The rest of the party would see this giant skeletal bird try to attack Davina, and Davina just be like, "Bitch, please!" and hit it with a fucking coffin. Okay, yeah. Timothy's just gonna sit there, like mm-hmm. wide-eyed and just blinking, like, Ooh. "What uh, the fuck was that?" Well, those you can just enable. I just hope we don't run into automatically. Those things. Oh. Like those are just class features that are part of Tasha. They don't sort seem of... to be too much of an issue. Jeez. <clears throat> All right, uh, come on, we better get a move on. Um, I'll show you. Y- yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, um, those weren't here before. Just to let you guys know. Um. <laughs> cool. 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 Oh, Jesus. Uh, okay. <laughs> She fucking hit it with the goddamn coffin. It just went all the fucking pieces. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. Thanks for that recap, Rocket. I have Jesus. no, I have no attachment to the undead. Well, I can tell. All right. Um. So get us get something of a marching order together, please, and um. Just let me know who's if you're using stealth or anything like that, because. Well, I'm. Am I carrying something? You told me I was carrying something. Uh, yeah. You and Zardos are carrying a coffin between you. But I don't want to carry a coffin. <laughs> Wait. It's fine. No, it's fine. No, it's fine. Would, would you rather make Zardos and Timothy carry it, which is to say, make Zardos it's carry fine. it? <laughs> I will carry it. Hey, when did Rensnick get here? Complain about doing things. No, I wasn't here. It doesn't matter. Um, could I be at the front with my rifle out to act, to act as a guard? Yeah, go for it. All right. Uh, what is Mary's passive perception? Seventeen. Okay. All right. So as you come through the ruins, uh, Mistral kind of leads you guys through the spots where the walls are more broken. Excuse me. 
Um, you hear kind of bird calls off in the distance and now you have to wonder are those living birds or dead birds why are the birds dead exactly what timothy is thinking <laughs> <laughs> not me um and timothy as we close in you're still seeing that kind of weird time lapse thing going on you see this building it rises about four stories uh, the walls here are ornately carved with um, reliefs of what you automatically know are kind of the the great uh, heroes and deities of the Dark Elvish Pantheon. But the, the images kind of flicker by too fast for you to really take any kind of imprint of them. Just passively, anyway, if you wanted to try to focus or whatever, but... Yeah, 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 yeah. <clears throat> uh, what happens if I try to touch it? Is it, like, just, I, like, it phases through because it's not actually there, or... If you try to touch more than just the rocks, yeah, your hand will just go right through the image. Okay, cool. So he, he does that, and then he looks at his hand, and then back at the images, and it's just like, huh puts his hand down, continues watching it wearily. To everybody else, they're just probably like, what the fuck are you looking at, you weird-ass cat boy? It's obviously Thanks. the nip. Guys, I, connect, I disconnected there. Oh, dear. <clears throat> what did I miss? Last thing I heard, Davina was hitting something with a coffin. Uh, Davina, uh -huh. Davina smacked a skeletal... A very large skeletal bird with a coffin and then smashed its skull with her foot. Okay. And she basically said no. I, said no. I, I defy your random encounter. Uh, yeah, that's all that's happened so far. Just some stuff for Timothy. Okay. I um, defy your random encounter. <laughs> yeah, <right>. basically. <laughs> All right, uh, somebody roll me a d12. I shall do it. I rolled a five. Okay, so that means that as you come up, everybody in the party starts to hear this kind of chittering clicking noise. Uh, think like... A chipmunk on acid from the bottom of a well. Oh no. Very descriptive. Oh, no. <laughs> Nail off the shits. <laughs> Alright, uh, yeah. Mistral hearing this kind of waves to you guys to like watch your step. Um, I have no idea what that noise is, but given the dead angry bird thingy, that can't possibly be good, right? Right? <laughs> Probably not. Maybe not. Either, either there's more of those birds, or they could, or they could be traps. Um, um go ahead. Uh, could I make a perception check? See if I see anything. Uh, yeah, go ahead. My passive perception's 18. Do I see anything? Uh, with that roll, I just gave you the sound. No, you don't actually see anything. Uh, Davina, looking more closely, you don't either. Um, you don't see anything. This wall here, all you see is that the vines have kind of crumbled down an opening here. It looks like Mistral was leading you guys to. Um, the area around it shows, like, some vines have been cut back. It's obviously where they, uh, they went in when they came to get the, get the relics you're returning. <clears throat> Interesting. So the the chittering crackhead uh, noise gets louder, and you see this um, large spider just kind of scurry up and over uh, the top of the wall, and. Um, Another one looks like it's coming up just behind it. You see it's it's furry, leggy arm thingies come up over and just grab at the at the rock to okay. come at you. 
Okay. Okay. Um, at that side. Mary sees the spiders, right? Don't shoot it! Don't shoot it! Oh dear God! Don't shoot it! Yes. Um, at that side, she's gonna yell out like a very high pitch of girly shrieks as she sees the the spiders moving around. And so does Timothy. Timothy sounds exactly like that too. Zerum is going to tell them, like, oh, listen, if we're careful and we don't make any sudden movements, we might be able to get past them. It looks like they're just, I don't know, they like that rock maybe. Timothy's going to turn his back towards the spiders and just be like, I don't see it. I don't see it. Please tell me he's got a bottle brush tail. Yeah, he absolutely <laughs> does. His tail is floofed as fuck right now. Now, listen, listen, they can sense your fear. You have to take a deep breath. It's gonna be alright. We're just gonna go raw through here. See, telling me that they sense fear doesn't make me feel any better. <laughs> it just makes my anxiety worse. Mary's just Still shaking in her booth. Mary's just shaking in her booth as, as, as she's cuddling her rifle like a teddy bear. Oh my god. Uh, so we've stumbled on a nest of some kind. Oh. A hole beneath, a hole beneath the tree over there where the skeletal bird was. I saw a small tunnel with webbing in it. I'm assuming this is their territory. Zellum's going to think while holding his co while holding the coffin, and he's gonna. Hmm. All right. Well, remember on one of my uh, adventures, we had a special person that could uh, talk to beasts like this. Maybe. If anybody here, could we be talk to them and say, hey, we're just passing by, not here to cause any damage to y'all, the home, or anything like that. Are you suggesting that I use my speak with animals? Okay. <laughs> I, 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 or Trixie. Or Trixie, either whoever, uh, Zellum doesn't know who has that. Well, I was trying to say, hey guys, I have speak with animals, but we're all panicking here. We need to calm down. <laughs> I'm not see, I, I'm, I'm, not tabbed, I'm not tabbed over. I didn't see you were trying to say anything, so sorry, Demi. So Stormy leans over and says to Zelros, uh, get ready. If Trixie can't talk to those things, you and I certainly can, as she pulls her revolver out of holster. Hell yeah. Yeah, it. Yeah, if Trixie can do it, I suggest you do it, because I don't know if I could do it very well. Mary says nothing, and she's paralyzed in fear. I'm just going to look at Trixie. All right, love, just tell them we're going on our way to return these things to their proper place. We're not going to disturb their home, anything like that. I believe in your love. Then I'm just going to, you know, say, Hey there, beautiful. We're not here to hurt you or anything else. Can we please pass by? Uh, shit, that's the snake. That's not the spider. Where'd it go? <laughs> <laughs> There's a bee! Sorry. There's a bee! There's a bee! Snakes. Why is it always snakes? <laughs> Um, so, in response to your uh, plaintive plea, uh, the spider that is currently visible kind of rears up on its back four legs, and it shoots web at uh, Mary. So... <laughs> Wait, why Mary? And, oh my god, did I offend it? Yes, you you did offend it. It is it is offend. Um, wow. Is there uh, um, okay? Please tell me this is there some sort of dexterity saving throw I could do. All right. So it is a sixteen. Does that beat your AC? It's a sixteen. <laughs> My AC is a seventeen. All right. So it shoots web at you, and you're like, you. You're so freaked out that you just, like, shrink back from it. You're like, oh! <laughs> oh, yeah. No, can I shoot it? 
Does Selim see this? Yeah, Selim sees this. Selim's gonna say, all right, enough of this. I look back at Zardos, like, all right, let's set this big thing down, and he's going to uh, spend a key point to shift into his astral self. All right, uh, roll initiative. <laughs> That is a like 28. <laughs> Holy fuck, man. Nope, no, 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 ignore me. I'm not Joey. I'm not Joey at all. I am. Oh my god. <clears throat> I just want to kill those things. I, I, I hate, I hate spiders. I got a 21. Can't defy this encounter. Sorry, it still had turns from like the last fight. Poor Ron. Oh well, no. What's wrong with Ron? I rolled a three for initiative. Holy moly. You mean you rolled a thirteen? <laughs> I was gonna say, how did you roll a three? I rolled a two. I rolled a plus one. <laughs> <laughs> Holy moly! I gotta look at your I gotta look at your character sheet too. Uh oh, what <coughs> level are we supposed to be? Ten. Uh oh. I have no idea. Yeah, ten. Ten. Rut row. Rut row. Rut row, Raggy. Uh oh, Raggy. Demi, you got an 11? Yeah. Right. <sighs> God damn it, Sven! What did Sven do? I He's put on spider, spider dance. dance. Oh, yeah. I have the music, 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 music bot um, muted. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, so top of the order at the start of the turn um, order, this other spider is going to creepy crawly its way over here and block the entrance to the rest of the ruins. And it is going to make a webby attack at Mistral. So. Fifteen. Yeah, Mistral is webbed. Oh, no. <clears throat> oh, no. All right. First up is Zelrum, I believe. Yeah. All right, Eva. Okay, okay, so is this a wall right here, or is this just like I can I can easily get over there? Uh, I'd say difficult terrain, so it's gonna take double movement to get through those squares. But yeah, you can step over it. All right, even with like if I do like an acrobatics check or something like that to make it a little easier. Yeah, it's it's just gonna be double movement to get through that square. Okay, so ten. 15. I have 50, so I can get up here pretty easily. Yeah. All right, I'm going to get right up here uh, on the flank of the spider here. Uh, I'm in my actual self form, so I have my special fist and I look like a fucking rock god. Um, and I am going to strike at this motherfucker that just uh, webbed Mistral. Okay. Uh, let's see. Are oh, you gonna be kidding me? Oh, well, I think that was damage. Hang on. I rolled damage by mistake. Hang on. There we go. That is a 23. Hits. Cool. Now let me roll damage. I'm also going to use, uh, with this first attack, my empowered... I'm not forgetting it this time. Um, look at it. 
Yeah, my empowered arms, when I hit a target, I can do an extra 1d8. So let me roll the base damage. Six, and then we do another 1d8. Uh, so 15 all together for the first hit. Okay, so you go pow, and your fist kind of just through through the you know one of its arms and into its side, and this uh, green icor squirts out. It stumbles back and hisses at you, um, and takes a swipe with its uh, one of its claws. Does a I'm guessing a twelve doesn't hit. It sure doesn't. All right, so it it just kind of goes, and you're just like, lol, I am a rock god. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go ahead and swing again. Okay. Uh, I think at twelve. Uh, twelve does not hit. All right, I'm gonna use a key point to use as a bonus action for fury of blows, or flurry of blows. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, okay. wow, okay. And the side, okay, a 17 hit? Yes. Okay. And that'll be another 9 damage to it. Alright, so you dodge, dodge, punch, and you're, you actually, like, crack off the claw that swiped at you, and you just go right through one of its little buggy eyes, and it, like, kind of goes and curls up in on itself with its legs up in the air, like when you kill, you know what spiders do with the little pee 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 Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it does. <laughs> so is it dead? It's dead. Yes. Yes, it's dead. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anything else on your turn? Zom is just going to... Uh, flick off his astral arms a bit to get the goop off. Be like, all right, a little gross, but we can make this work. All right, next up is Mr. Timothy. Okay, Timothy's, like, kind of hiding behind Davina a bit, and he peers over from behind her at the other remaining spider, and he, he like, waves his hand, and he says, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, as he casts uh, sleep on that on the, the remaining spider. Okay, uh... And I want to cast that at 5th level. Because <laughs> fuck it, I want that dead now. So you're you're going to cast it at 5th level, which gives you how many hit points? <laughs> That's a lot. Hold on. It's, uh... What is it? Additional 2d8 above 1. D8. So it's a 12d8 altogether. <clears throat> <laughs> I, I think we got him as long as you, as long as you spell it. It's... Well, give it a second. How much that is? <laughs> it's a seventy-four. <laughs> okay, so let's see. It's ninety feet. Range twenty foot sphere. At so least it gets to die in his sleep. <laughs> so I'd cast it like somewhere over here so it hits just the spider. Alright, you're casting it over here? Yeah. Just so it like just hits the spider. All right, so you see, uh, well, you won't see them yet, but uh, these three are now slipped. Oh. All right, is there anything else you would like to do now that you have slept a, a spider? Uh, no, I think I'm good. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to hiding behind Davina now. All right, Stormy. All right, so <clears throat> Stormy is gonna just see five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. She's gonna fire at this one. Okay. Fourteen just hits. Oh, even that natural said. Nineteen. Yes. She's gonna fire again. Nineteen. So double nineteen? Or is that the second hit? No, okay. That was, the second, that was the second hit, and then eight more points of damage. So a total of 27 points of damage. All right, fire. yeah. So you step up, and you just raise both of your pistols, and you are clearly remembering the face of your father today because you're just... And it just explodes into gooey spider bits. Yeah. <clears throat> hey, at least he's dead. Timothy shakes off his nerves like, well, at least we took care of that. <laughs> Unless. Um, at the end of your turn, Stormy, um, you hear a screech, like a, an, that weird bird call from above, and this motherfucker just kind of swoops down at you. Okay. Um... You feel a rush of wind as, uh, which is weird because you don't think that bony wings would make a rush of wind, but they do. And, um, make a dex save for me, please. Alrighty. Dex, dex, dex save. Oh, I have, a, I have. Actually, it's a strength save. I'm sorry. If she gets grabbed out of the air, I'm going to be pissed. That was, that was a shitty roll. I'm glad. That was a shittier roll. I'm not glad. <laughs> Aww. All right, so as this thing dives down, you feel yourself just pushed back a good five feet and knocked to your knees uh, by the gust of wind. Okay. Davina. Uh... Eater of coffins. <laughs> Heater of coffins. coffins. Uh, speaking of coffins, uh, I'm putting that down. Uh, and I'll just throw one javelin at Dude McCool over there. Okay. Um, it's a 21 to hit for 10 piercing damage. And um, she's going to use. In Commander's Strike, uh, after using the attack action, and use her bonus action to direct Mary to make a weapon attack as a reaction. And that'll be it. But Mary, you have a reaction <clears throat> attack now. That I can make it now? Mm hmm. That has to be on your target, right? Um, let me look. Uh, here you just strike using its... Re it doesn't say specifically that enemy, so... Okay. I think she can attack anyone. Alright, well, uh, well, from that, um, the Davina witness... Uh, well, Mary witnessed Davina's command, and promptly snaps, like, slaps herself out of her paralyzing fear, and she... She grips her rifle and takes aim at, at the creature of which Davina was attacking, which is right here. Okay. Also add a four to that damage, because I add my superiority die to it. So, four to the ten? Uh, no, not to my damage, to whatever oh, okay. Mary's attacks damage is. Okay, gotcha. So, uh, so, uh, so I just... Uh, I just rolled a hit? Uh, yeah, damage. rolled a hit. You're making just a regular rifle attack? Yes. Okay. Alright, rolling the hit. 
32 definitely hits. That is a crit, sir. So oh, we're we're not even gonna roll damage. You just like you fucking snap your rifle up, and just you find this clarity when Davina's order snaps you back to reality, and you just blast the thing and its skull explodes into tiny tiny bone fragments and just bones everywhere like bone uh, did powder I <laughs> did i mention my attack does piercing damage i mean it doesn't matter it's it's bones and it's dead yeah, it's... <laughs> okay for some reason somewhere in the distance in a far off land rinzik is shivering going oh god hell it's frozen over <laughs> I, I hate you. <laughs> I hate you. I take credit for that crit, by the way. Yeah. Obviously, obviously, it was Davina's guidance. Great, Great job, Davina. Davina. Hey, hey, everyone, round of applause for Davina. Yeah. No, that was. Oh, jeez, someone disconnected. Oh, that was a thought. Okay. Uh, no, that was all you made. Full credit to you. Woo. End of Davina's was... turn. <laughs> All right, so it is Mary's turn. Um, so a word about up here: there is this gap in the wall, but here it's about waist high on the ruins, so you could climb over, but it would cost like at least double movement to get over the wall. Um, at the moment, all you see on the other side is um, uh, just what looks to be like a little round dais here with some cracked pillars and shit. And these things? You can't see yet. Okay, f okay, never mind. Forget it. Um, well, right now, I, I'm... Can I turn to Mary... Uh, no, can I turn to, to Mistral and... Is she still stuck with the webbing? Like, she can I, can I she to... is still in the webbing. Can I try to help her set free? Uh, yeah, do you want to attack the webbing? If I could just, like, maybe, like, I don't know, like, gun bash her free? So, you want to punch the webbing? Make an honor strike, yes. I, 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 I don't know how to gun bash. Uh, okay, make an unarmed attack at the webbing. Okay. That's the hit. <laughs> That's, this is for the damage. All I'm right, so so you you hit the webbing, and your your fist kind of gets gets stuck to it a little bit, and you feel it give, but that's about it. And inside, you hear Mistral kind of just whimpering, like, and like she's starting to kind of gasp a little bit. Like it sounds like she's hyperventilating inside the web. Um. <laughs> Oh, we're, oh, we're still, still in initiative. Yeah, we're still in initiative count. Yeah, I was gonna say, and since that technically counts as a attack, I I I can do it again if I want. You can punch it again if you would like. Is that what you would like to do? I, I do. But before I do, I have another idea. Is see, I have a torch. In, okay, well, I have a torch in my inventory. Can I light it up and maybe set her free via fire? It would take the remainder of your turn to pull the torch out and try to, like, get it ready to be lit. So you wouldn't actually light the torch until your next turn. Damn. Okay. Mm. So okay. if you want to get the torch out, go for it. Okay, so so can I get my torch out and then and then I I shout it to, to, to the group. Uh, can someone, like, help me lit this up and set, and set Mistral free? Uh, Stormy's gonna slap her hand to her forehead and say, <laughs> "Light the webbing on fire with Mistral inside it." No, Rim's just gonna go. Put the fuck <laughs> torch down before I punch it out of your hand. <laughs> she is not a witch. Not a witch to burn, matey. Mistral just kind of thrashes in the webbing like I'm going to fucking die. All right, Trixie, you are up, my dear. Mary just puts the torch down. Um... <laughs> Couldn't I just, like, fly up to her and grab her? Grab Mistral? 
Yeah. You could fly up to her if um but she is webbed to the ground if you want to make a strength check to kind of pull her wait, up. Wait, wait. What about cutting it with my dagger? There you go. <laughs> okay, uh, that's what I had weapons. <laughs> that's what Stormy was going to do on her turn, but someone thought Yes, you can go try to cut it with your dagger if you like. Just make a uh, an attack roll on it. Uh, I forgot how to play. <laughs> Just to roll to see if it hits? It does have AC. It's not very high AC, but it does have AC. <laughs> does an 8 get it? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, um, then the web is too fast for me, I guess. <laughs> no, it's... It, you You take a stab at it, and you, you feel like if you were able to put a little more oomph through it, you might be able to get the blade through, but as it is, you only cut through, like, about half the layer. So you don't quite get through it. She thick. <laughs> she dummy thick. She dummy thick. <laughs> well, I'm she all thick out of delicious. ideas. <laughs> Was that lighted on fire? <laughs> She's Please. not a witch. Not a witch. <laughs> All right, so I have to make a DC twelve strength save. That is not a DC twelve strength save. <laughs> All right, so uh, Mistral is wriggling around in the fucking webbing and gets nowhere. And you kind of see it going <laughs> as she kind of starts to panic now. <laughs> oh, God. Zellrum! All right, Zellrum's going to go over to Mistro. Look at her. All right, love, I need you to calm down. Sardos and the rest of them. Where did Sardos's turn go? It was on here. Sardos didn't get a turn. Oh, that. what did I say? He got a 13? We'll, we'll yeah. say that Zardos got a 13. They say he had a 3. We're saying Zardos had a 13. Zardos, go. Oh, okay, never mind. Sorry. Silver's the DM. They can do what they want. No, 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 no. I honestly forgot about that. Uh, I guess I'll try to hit the webbing with my axe. All right. Beat its ass. With, with your axe? Um, <clears throat> Stormy's going to remind Zardos again that... Um, Mistral is in there. There's a 13 hit. A 13 does hit. He's on the killer. Don't you talk. talk. You were going to light her on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Six damage. All right. Yeah. Uh, so you take a whack at it with your axe. And it cuts through the, the webbing, and Mistral's able to shake free, and you just hear her, like, panting, and she's, like, white as a she's just like, I never want to do that again. I never want to do that. Were you going to fucking light me on fire? <laughs> My god, are you brain- No, you are brain damaged. I should be nice. You are brain damaged. And you! Punches Rockhead. <laughs> what did I do? do? Exactly! Nothing. That, that was the problem. Oh, I couldn't, I couldn't do anything. anything. I was about to come get you, but, you, you know, Zardos came over with his axe and took care, care of it. What do you want me to do about, about it? Uh, Zardos, do you have anything else you want to do on your turn, man? <laughs> no, I'm alright. Alright, so... You. As... Ta -da. As, uh, pose, Zelrum is distracted by, uh, Mistral yelling at him. Uh, another spider crawls up over the wall right behind him. And it is going to take a bitey bite attack at his, the back of his head. Does a 24 hit. Um, it does, but I'm looking at something. Can I make a Hanshu's first move? <clears throat> Something oh, on what? your own time. Uh, Han shoots first. Uh, get it? Oh, Han first. shoots first. Okay. Yeah, yeah it does hit. 
All right, so make a con save for me. That's seven. All right, so you take nine piercing damage, an additional 15 poison damage, and um, at the end of... Uh, hang on. If that's poison, I think I have a thing for that. Uh, There's a feat for that. <laughs> I literally was just looking at it. Uh, let's see... So it would be uh, acid damage, correct? Poison. Poison. Oh. It's necrotic. Uh, okay, whatever. Okay, uh... Okay, so I take uh, 9 plus 15, so 24. Oh, wait, I have defenses against poison, though. Ah, God damn it. Sorry, Sorry, I'm trying to get my mind all into this, and I'm... It's okay, take your time. I'm trying to figure out where I'm getting this poison defense from. Because I have defenses, it says defenses against disease and poison. Oh. Okay, uh, so just have your damage. So half the f 15, you would take 7. Glasses so I can read. In fact, I got a new aura. I think you get a plus from just being within 30 feet of me on your saving throw. Uh, so I'm you're going to take like 16 points of damage. Okay, yeah, so I just... My glasses I gained, so I can read. So I take 16, you said? Well, I Six. already did 20. Yeah, I, I gained myself 8 back. Okay. Okay, okay yeah, so yeah, no, I... Poison damage is halved to me. That's, That's where I was getting mixed up. Okay. okay. All right, Zelrum, it is your turn. Zelrum is going to turn and be like, you fucking little bastard. And he's going to take a swing at this spider. Okay. Hit his ass. Does not hit. <laughs> Does hit. I'm going to use my empowered uh, strike on this one. Uh, since it hit empowered arms, I mean. All right, so damn yeah. it. So are you within 30 feet of me, Zelros? 5, 10, 15, 20. You are. Add 5 to whatever your saving throw was. He made the saving throw anyway. Oh, okay. I was going to say. So that's 9 plus D8. So, way, 14 damage. Alrighty. And then I am going to spend a key point for Flurry of Blows. Hi, baby uh, girl. 13 doesn't hit. And a 12 doesn't hit. Jesus fucking Christ, these dice hate me. I'm sorry. Whatever, it's fine. So, um, Timothy feels just a surge of courage flow into him now. Ooh. Yes, because being within 30 feet of Stormy, you cannot be frightened. <laughs> Ooh. That's, just, that's, that's very nice. Thank you. Was that all for you, Ken? Uh, yeah. All right, Stormy, you're up. Um, okay. God damn it, I forgot about focus to aim. <sighs> Ten. Uh, I'm going to move here. Uh, I'm going to shoot at this fellow. Is he still alive? Yeah, it's still alive. Alright, I'm going to shoot at that fellow. Ah! <laughs> that was a nat one. All right, yeah, you, you take the shot, and it ricochets off of the rocks, and... Damn uh, it, I didn't mean to close that. Fuck Nugget. Wait, I have a question. Aww. If you misfire, if you misfire, uh, sorry, if, well, yeah, if you, if you roll the nat one with a firearm, that means it's a misfire. I don't use the standard D&D &D rules for 
firearms. Okay, never mind. I make my Otherwise own bullshit it. up. Uh, Alright, Stormy, roll damage. Alright, um... <clears throat> well, my roll would have been a 9. No, I, I see that. Your roll was a 9, but it was a nat 1. It hits the rock. It ricochets off the rock. It hits Mistral. Roll your damage. <laughs> Oops. Oops. 13. All right, so we'll cut that in half because some of the energy was lost getting the ricochet. She takes seven points of damage and yelps indignantly. Oh. All right. So I'm going to make my second attack on the spider. <laughs> and roll another nat one. Oh, my God. Uh, uh, what the fuck? What? Yeah. Wow. You rolled on the... I'm done with these dice today. Yep, I rolled a, another nat one. So who gets hit this time? Uh, you know what, Ken? I'm tired of it. I can take the hit. I'm just tired of it. I'll tired take the hit. It. Hit me. I'll take hit. the hit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So it ricochets off of the rocks again. This time, Mistral ducks. Uh, Timothy, make a dex save for me, please. I fucking will. I have a plus six on that shit. Timmy's not scared. Yeah, I, I had a plus seven a few minutes ago. <laughs> and I got a 19. And rolled, rolled like an eight. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, the bullet ricochet misses the spider, ricochets off the rock, whips by Mistral's head. She yelps again. And you have just enough time to duck as the bullet goes over your head and then plinks against the rocks behind you. Close. <laughs> <sighs> All right, so um, I am going to take a bonus action, and I will cast uh, Shield of Faith on Mistral. Cool. So she now has a. Starting. Granted a plus two bonus. So she got plus two to AC for the duration, which is ten minutes. Cool. Anything else on your turn? That's it. I am done. All right, Mr. Timothy Cornelius Romano. Let's see this <laughs> bard shit. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Well, since he's not afraid anymore, uh, and he's got a bit of an adrenalish, adrenaline rush now from uh, almost getting shot in the head. <laughs> um... He's going to uh, run up to uh, Mr. Spider, and he is going to attack with his rapier. All right, so you came between or around Zellrum and into the actual little courtyard? Yeah, was, like there or here or wherever. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> I keep activating new shit. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, Timothy, you're activating their trap cards? <laughs> I'm sorry. And I rolled a nine. <laughs> Alright, a nine does not hit the spider. Uh, over here, you see what looks to be a, a humanoid skeleton with a bow. And then this is... And this, well, this is like a, I guess it's like a fucking, what is it? Are you talking about it's, these? The fishies are um, ghosts. So they're kind of these translucent dark elves in like tattered robes. And then this is actually just a giant fucking skeletal snake. He's gonna grimace and then turn back to the party with like a nervous smile like... Hey, my bad. Uh, but they've got more friends. Great friends, just what everybody wants. <sighs> Anything else, Timothy? Um, I am going to uh, apologetically pat Zelrim on the back <laughs> and give him a bardic inspiration and just be like, Sorry, bud. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> and that's all for me. 
All right. Yeah, I'm just gonna go. Thanks, bud. I think I'm gonna need that. <laughs> okay, Davina, you're up. Um, I will say, as these uh, these ghosts kind of materialize, you would feel the presence of departed souls around you. Are bringing ghosts come out to socialize? Well, that's not oh. good. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20. What is my view through this and this? Um, so you, being 8 feet tall, you look down and you see uh, kind of this ghost here sort of uh, very blurry, just hovering in place, and behind it, this um, this skeletal snake just curled up on itself, very still, uh, because of Timothy's slep spell. Uh, behind is this um, other similarly tattered-looking dark elf uh, ghost, and then you see this uh, t uh, dark, well, humanoid skeleton with a uh actually what looks like a pretty nice uh elvish style bow it's a long bow okay. <clears throat> uh davina is going to raise her hand to the sky and a small bolt of lightning will strike the palm of her hand and extend outwards forming a javelin and throw it at all of them i blush uh, <laughs> all right, so it's uh, it's a five foot wide line that extends out from me, a uh, hundred and twenty feet. Okay. And they need to make a DC thirteen Dex saving throw or take forty six lightning damage. All right, let me see how much HP the ghost and the snake actually have. All right, so that blasts the sleeping ghost. Definitely. Wait, no. Where's the snake? And it's half on a successful save. Okay. You said it's lightning. Yeah. Okay. So it actually only takes half damage from that. Cool. <sighs> Um, along with that, while you're doing that, uh, Davina is going to shout out another order to Stormy and expend her last superiority die to give Stormy a reaction attack. Okay. Okay, you said that was how much lightning damage? I'm sorry. Uh, 11 lightning damage. It's only 11? I thought you said it was like 40 some lightning damage. It's 4d6. Oh! Um, okay. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so you summon your javelin of lightning and you threw them. Um... You see both ghosts kind of go <laughs> back as uh, they're shocked, and the constrictor uh, wakes up and kind of does that "Hi, look at me, I'm a cobra" thing with the 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 hood flare. Okay. Uh, Davina uses her last ten feet of movement to step up next to Stormy, pats her on the shoulder. Uh, Your shot, and gives the. Commander strike. All right, so she's gonna shoot at the at the first ghost here. Okay, we're shooting the ghost. Yeah, let's hope it's not another nat one. The chance of that is really low, so that would be really impressive, actually. Uh, yeah, that's that's nice. nineteen, and I'm gonna smite same time since she's undead it'll be an extra d8 Ooh, uh, let me see here well it is a magic weapon so it's technically just resisting not we'll immune that. okay divine smart okay if we get two <coughs> and she, and then, uh, 
to 68 total. Actually, we're going to have 48, so I'm just going to roll this two and twice. So that's 17 points of damage on the first ghost. On this one? Yep, that one. Uh, that's along with your weapon damage, by the way, with Divine Smite. Oh, yeah. Let me roll my weapon damage. Sorry. Thank you for reminding yeah, me. Of course. Thought I was forgetting something there. Paladin's got to stick together. Divine uh, Smite's Radiant damage, right? Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Alright, so... Uh, let's see here. So that'll take another seven. Hold on. Take another. I can't read it because somebody keeps putting shit in Discord. Another 11 points. So that's uh, 28 points in total. 30, actually. Two from my Thirty spirit points. already died. Uh, 30, then. All right, so... It's 17, it'll be double that because it's radiant, and then it'll be half the weapon damage because it's piercing. So, you know what? Fuck it. It makes a, a kind of mournful moaning noise and just uh, mists apart. As it is just... It just uh, makes a moaning noise and mists apart as it is uh, it, it dispelled, I guess, by uh, the holy fury of your pew pew. Holy pew pew. <laughs> actual pews from the gun. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, all right. And that was actually, that was Davina's turn and yours was a bonus action thing, right? Yeah, I use I let them make a, or reaction, a reaction attack. Okay. Bonus action. That's the end of Davina's turn as well. Okay. So Mary would be next up. Okay. Um, I have a question. Uh, of the spider that I was attacking the room, is it still alive? Yes. How big is it? Uh it is. Does D and D say? It doesn't say, so we'll say it's about the size of a uh, golden retriever. Oh, mm, okay, yep, yeah, no, gotta go. And <laughs> another thing, uh, the, you mentioned the ghost is a dark elf, right? Yes. Does Can Mary see this present? Can, can Mary see the presence? Uh, well, it's, well, um, uh, Mary, well, can Mary see this ghostly form of, of a dark elf? Uh, yeah, this is only about waist high, maybe a little higher. It's a little obstructed with all the shit between her, but she could probably see it as it's whooshing, doing ghosty thingies there. Uh, she'll probably get a decent uh, view of it. <clears throat> okay. I was going to ask, is there some way that I could talk to it? You could try. Yeah, you also... Say. I am really sorry about the arachnophobia. That's why I used fishies and shields instead of actual spiders. Thank you for fishies and shields. <laughs> <clears throat> but yeah, yeah. So, so what I want to do is first is first, can I attack the spider, and then and then afterwards, can I try and see if I can talk to the elf afterwards? If you want to try to talk to it, you're gonna have to use your action for that because it's gonna be more than just a simple quick six second command oh okay so yeah I'll, I'll do that okay what are you saying to the dark elf ghost can I, and what can language I an elf i'm trying to see if if mary can talk to the elf with with the modern elvish that she knows okay and and she's gonna try to to talk to the dark elf to see um you know um what it wants, and that, and that if we could see, and that maybe if, we, if there's a, if we can come to terms like an understanding, or, or we can see those, we can cease this fighting to see if we can maybe try and help it. Uh, so the ghost, um, it kind of, it stops its drifting for a moment, and it focuses its attention on you, but you don't see anything like recognition on its spectral features. And then it lets out this 
monstrous, like, banshee scream. Um... Fortunately, nobody is in the area of effect. <laughs> well, my enemies receive you in hell. <laughs> <laughs> All right, do you want to move, or are you just going to stay there? Uh, let's see. All right, I'm, yeah, I'm going to move up here if that's possible. All right, if just in front of the... In line of fire, are you? Oh, right. <laughs> um, it's here. Sure. All right, Mr. Zardos, destroyer of everything. So you this this wall right here is it is it just waist high? Is there a crack in there? Uh, so it? there it's ba it's about a uh, waist high on the humanoids. So call it like three feet high. Uh, so for Zardos, it might be a little lower than waist, but it's still going to take extra movement to get over. Can I go to enrage and just fucking plow through the wall? You know what? Give me give me a uh, a strength roll with advantage. So d20 plus your strength mod with advantage. Hold on, 23. All right, so you raise your axe and you let out this fearsome roar and you charge forward and you fucking just Kool-Aid man your way through the through the ruins uh, and crash through the wall with your axe and you stop right in front of the... Uh, the skeletal constrictor snake here. I want to go to swing at the the constrictor. Okay. And uh, I want to unhitch the axe and swing it by its chain. All right. So you're swinging the full radius. Uh. Or are you just trying to use it to make a ra single target ranged attack? If I can get all three of these things, let's do it. Uh, well, it's centered around you, and I. Th so everything, like in the squares adjacent to you, would have to make uh, the deck safe. So you also have to worry about hitting Trixie. Yeah, fuck it. I'll just go for the constrictor then. Okay. All right. Total of 20. Does it hit? Yes. So. Thirteen initial or total damage, and then divine fury with it would be another eight. Twenty-seven or no? Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Alrighty. And go to swing again. Roll twenty-seven. Hits. Damage is ten. Um, I'm gonna re-roll that though. I'll use the 10. Okay. All right. So you take two furious swings at this, having just plowed through the ruins. You're like, Rawr! and you crunch, crunch, and like pieces of it fly everywhere. You see uh, part of its spine cleave off and go through the, uh, the ghost. And it tries to lunge forward at you, and you can see it's still animated, but it's not able to move very much at all. And it is Trixie's turn. Okay. I recently learned a new spell. And it's a little bit off from what I normally cast. But I want to try to hit the banshee. Which one's okay. the banshee again? The fishy fish. Okay. Then I would like to try to hit the banshee with Enveration. 
Enervation? Enervation, yes. Okay. Let's roll the dice to see if I'm getting drunk. I rolled a 19. I did. Are there any girls oh, there? All right. So it has to make a dex saving throw. 18. Which it did not make. So. And what level were you casting that at? Just fifth? Yeah. All right, so it takes 4d8 damage. Oh no, I cleared my thing. Uh, do you want to roll the 4d8 or do you want me to roll the 4d8? I will roll it. It'll take 15 damage. Fuck him nice. up, Trixie. Get his ass. Um, yep. so... Yep. Um, it kind of ghosts are immune to necrotic damage. Oh, I thought that since it's a ghost, it would take necromancy damage. No, the radiant does double damage to them, and they're immune to necrotic. Tell me that. Because you hate me, that's why. You wanted me to look stupid. All right, I understand. We get it. No. Demi's stupid, no. and she doesn't know what Pokemon is weak against what. I get it. No, it's cool. It's fine. She's, She's joking. joking. Sorry. <clears throat> um... Is there anything else you wanted to do on your turn? Uh, there's nothing I can do. I'm not using up my sorcery points. Um, I'm not gonna just just keep that uh fifth level spell slot open. We'll say since it wasn't a success that it didn't use the spell slot. Okay. <laughs> All right, so Spidey here in front of me. Mistral is going to uh, she's going to ray of frost it. So ranged spell attack. Oof. Okay. Yeah. No. Uh, that doesn't work. Dice hate me tonight. Um, Mistral's just gonna kind of swing, shift over this way, and uh, that'll be Zelrum's turn. Um. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna look at this spider here and be like, I'm gonna f fucking beat the shit out of you. I have Bardigard Inspiration, thankfully. Yeah. Um. Get his ass. Yeah. So I am going to swing. Uh, does... Yeah, it looks like 28 altogether. Hits. I'm going to use my empowered arm so I get an extra 1d8. That's 7 plus... Uh, so 13 damage on the first hit. Okay. Then we'll go for a second. That is 26. Hits. And that's another 12 damage. All right. So you get your revenge on it. You plow your rocky fist through its icky buggy eyes. Would you like to desecrate its corpse? Or are we good with just punching your face, fist through its face? I'm cool with just punching my fist through its face. You gotta teabag it. 
I don't think teabagging a spider in the middle of the ruins while there are undead around you would be a good idea. <laughs> Just throwing that out there. I don't know. Down there is the down there is the worst place to get envenomated. Just saying. Okay, yeah. so, uh, what do we have here? What are what are these again? This is a skeletal archer. This is a ghost. This is a skeletal constrictor snake. Cool. I'm gonna move up to the archer, and I'm gonna use my bonus action for Fury of Blows to punch, punch, punch. All right. A crit. All right. Roll your damage, sir. Double damage, right? Eh. So, 24. On the first Fury of Blows hit. Okay. And then I'm going to make another one. Uh, that would be a 10, but I believe I can re-roll that. Uh, one second. I missed one an attack roll. You can spend one to three key points to increase the attack roll by two for each key point. So I'm going to spend two key points to make that a 14. Does it hit? Yes. Okay. Um, so then I will roll damage. That'll be six, another six to it. So that's a total of... 30 damage. 30? All right, you punch, 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 and it staggers back, but it's still on its feet, and it raises its bow at you. Uh, All right, yeah, that, that doesn't hit, because even with its, its to hit, that eight's not going to do it for you. So it takes a shot and it goes wide and it is Stormy's turn. Ooh, to all our enemies we see you in hell. <laughs> so that's ten to get over the wall. Fifteen twenty. As she goes by she winks at Mary and says, I'm not gonna get in your way. Um, then she's gonna shoot at the ghost here. Oh, it's a nat 20. Hell yeah. Nice. Oh, wow. And I was going to uh, smite her as well, so you might as well just take him off the board. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> um, oh, damn. Paladins be shoot. like. Yeah. <laughs> then I'm going to shoot the snake. Thirteen. Does that hit? Uh, just hits. Well, then I am going to smite him as well. Hold on, I gotta make sure I mark all the. How do you? Off. How do you do the bot thing? Okay. Uh, you mean music bot? Exclamation yeah. point sr space play and then the name of the song or a link to the song. <clears throat> and, and nine, eighteen. A total of twenty two points on the snake. All right, so almost at the same time, you raise one revolver and you blast through. The fucking banshee with the holy power of the Lord and Lady of the Waves. And as you're doing that, you just put your other revolver up against what remains of the snake's skull. And you <laughs> blast it apart into little tiny bone shards. Now we are just left with this homeboy. Uh, mine, mine is, my turn is done. You guys are up. Mr. Timothy Cornelius Romano. <laughs> Cool. Uh, 
Is that song from Azomanga Dio? No, this is Titania's theme from Final Fantasy XIV. Ah. Yes. You know that anime? King of the Fairies. Yeah, man, that anime's been around forever, dude. I watched that with my kids when they were teenagers. I, I first learned, I first learned of that since high school. So like yesterday. It was a good. It was a cute little one. My youngest daughter loved it. It was so freaking cheesy. Nothing wrong with cheesy. I know, but still. cheesy. It was awesome. Ah, Ripley, please. No, don't yell at me. You have to get down. Go on, choo choo. Good girl. Um. Okay. I can't do what I was gonna do because now Stormy is over there. So, um, would I be able to squeeze in past, uh, like, by Zelrum? Yeah, you could probably squeeze by. Okay, You're pretty cool. tiny. Uh, it'll I cost am. you double movement, but... That's fine. I just need to get, like, in here, uh, so I can, um, uh, slishy slashy. Do me a favor. Yeah, what's up? Make a whiz save. Okay, I rolled a 14, by the way. But you get okay. a plus 5 because you were within 30 feet of me. <laughs> okay, cool. So that's a 18 plus the 5 with you around. So yeah, that's, that's all good. 23. All right, 23. so you kind of feel your, uh, your mind starting to wander as you look at this uh, skeletal archer, particularly as your eyes fall on this bow he is using. But uh, you're able to center yourself and you lunge at him with your rapier. Roll some damage for me, please. I will! That is going to be an eight. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you pierce through its rib cage. You're using a right. magic. Is, you're Yeah, you're adamantine. So you're good. Um, yeah. All right. You, you poke it with your magical uh, pokey stick and it is poked uh, for damage. <laughs> Uh, that will be all for me then. <clears throat> I don't really have any bonus actions to do, so. Alright. I, I do keep my eye on that bow, though. Okay. Uh, Davina, you are up. Uh, alright. 5, 10, 15, 20, 20. Uh, and this is a ghost. It is a skeletal archer. It is oh, basically a dark elf skeleton with a really cool looking bow. Okay. Um, four attacks. Just tell me how you're blowing this fucker up, please. This <laughs> is gonna shatter. This is gonna shatter. Jesus. So no you're just going to here. Oh, you're just gonna pierce it with your your purity spirit. It's just going to be annihilated by the the holy power. Yeah, yeah, sounds about right. All right. So as it explodes into dust, the cool looking bow falls to the ground, and combat is over. I want to take a closer Stormy. look at the bow. Stormy is gonna whisper up to Davina. I'm not normally into girls, but if you want me, I am yours. Oh my god. <laughs> um, that actually is going to be the end of the action. Uh, so from here on, if you guys want to hang out, it'll just be RP stuff. Because um, I know Ken's kind of tired. He wants to go to bed. I'm sure some of you guys do as well. Okay. Uh, Davina will respond to Stormy uh, and say, I, I'm deeply flattered by your offer, but my heart lies with someone else. <laughs> the storm is gonna pout, but yeah, oh well. Such is life. <laughs> she, she, the Vina does look tickled by the the offer, though. For future reference. For future reference, if I were to cast 
fly on Zardos, would he be able to do, like, an in-the-air cleave causing extra damage? If he were within melee range, he could do a melee attack uh, while off the ground. Um, with the special ability his axe has, um, he could probably finagle it but um, the physics would be really weird and it would be awkward <laughs> because then it would be like, you know how when people are doing like the, the rodeo shit with the, the Larry lassos and they're like jumping in and out of it, it would be like that, but with a fucking battle axe on a chain. That would be cool. <laughs> what if I was just to fall like say 30 feet, cleaving the axe straight down into the set enemy? Uh, yeah, if you want to Zardos bomb people, you can definitely do that. <laughs> oh, that would be cool. <laughs> with or without the help? What do you mean with or without the help? Of, like, one of my spells. Yeah, no, if you were to give him, say, flying, and he were to fly, uh, say, 30 feet up. And then... You can also cast Gus with, with like, wind... And like maybe, like fling him up in the air and with his gravity pull. Yeah. So if you wanted to do a combo attack like that, um, all it would really be is like if you're ahead of him in the turn order, he you would uh kind of I guess yield your turn to him, or say you know on my turn or on Zardos's turn I'm going to X Y or Z. And then um. If you take any actions between when you set that aside and, or when you declare that and when his turn goes off, it would cancel out the effect. But otherwise, yeah, you could use it to, like, uh, just yeet him in the air and he can, do, like, do an enhanced lunge attack kind of thing. And we would just give it, like, an extra, I don't know, damage die or something on the dice. So if it's, like, a D8... A, a, whatever d8 attack it would just get an extra d8 or something Noted. all right uh trixie i don't know if you had already leveled yourself up to match the group if not uh do so now plox and tie uh the bow that you found, uh, Timothy, it's made of what looks, it's, it's not wood. It actually looks almost like it's made of obsidian, but it's flexible. Um, there are uh, very, very fine etchings in the... Uh, in this weird uh, black stone crystal, whatever the hell it is, um, that as you run your fingers over them, you can tell that it's writing and like you get a sense that it should mean something to you, but you can't really make it out right now. You're going to need more time to actually sit and more or less commune with the fucking thing. But it is a long bow and I do not have a stat sheet for it yet. <laughs> cool, 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 cool. So for now, I guess just unidentified dark elf longbow in uh, your inventory or whoever's picking it up. I'm picking it up. <laughs> it intrigues me. Uh, <clears throat> uh, may I say something? Go for it. Uh, so as oh, okay, so witnessing as how how Timothy is intrigued with the bow. Uh, Mary is gonna walk up and approach Timothy. Um, Timothy, you know, um, that bow appears to be somewhat of, from long, elven history. I, you may keep it, but if you need help identifying it, I have no issues uh, helping you if you want. Uh, thanks for the offer. Um, if, sure, if I need help, but, um, I'm just gonna cast identify on it later and uh you know get, get a nice feel for it but yeah if i need if i need the help i'll, I'll let you know oh right of course by the way and my last it. encounter has if i has my health 
been uh, replenished. Uh, yeah, you guys had a long rest on the boat. So going into this fight, you had everything, full hit points, all that good stuff. Um, I will say, going into the next session, you're not going to have a rest. So please leave your spell slots and charges and hit points where they are right now. If you already reset it, don't worry about it. But um, just keep that in mind, because next week we're going to pick up, assuming we have a session, exactly where uh, we left off. I would like to have a session next week, and then probably we won't have another one until after the wedding. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I even touched. <laughs> well, that kind of happens when uh, you've got D Davina and uh, Zelrum around, just being all like, "Lol." <laughs> yeah. And Stormy's right. just blasting things apart with holy bullets. Yeah, when yeah. she's not rolling, when she's not rolling uh, natural ones and, and shooting Mistral, <laughs> and shooting Mistral and uh, whoever else it was she shot at. It was Timothy, but he. Timothy. Okay. I tried to keep Davina passive during this fight because uh, other people should get to play. And at the same time, bro, I designed these things with Davina in mind. I know. <laughs> like some of this is meant to just be yard trash that Davina walks up to and goes. <laughs> puny skeleton and smashes <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> well that's why i was like let's just use commander strike and let other people do the thing that was kind of cool that was really cool it was cool cool because you rolled a net 20 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. No doubt. That was really cool. And Stormy rolled a 19. I was really hoping for a nat 20 day, too. I did roll a nat 20. Not on your attack, but there very shortly after. Yeah. <laughs> got some good... Cr you got repaid for those two consecutive nat ones, because that <laughs> was just fucking ridiculous. Yeah. I've never done that before. Not two in a row like that. That was, that was, yeah, that was pretty awesome. Oh. It as, uh, as Stormy walks away from you after you've rejected her, um, she's twirling her finger, revolvers around her finger, slaps them back in her holster, pulls one out, starts to reload. She start, she's showing off a little bit. Love that for her. Showing off a little bit. Meanwhile, Davina's like, my husband is gone. Where is he? Help me find my husband. You have a husband? Uh, honestly, as as the player with the character, I'm not sure if he's alive or not anymore, or her daughter. But uh, it's been me. a long time, man. It's been a very long time, yeah. The signs point to no. Yeah. That becomes like a side quest or something. Timothy would definitely want to aid in that because it's very touching. Well, logically, they would be dead at this point. Yeah. Well, has she been like asleep or something, and she doesn't you know that she's been around for thousands of years. You it's guys are just gonna woman? have to wait and talk. <laughs> Spoilers. Oh oh <laughs> Alright guys, well um, thank you for coming. I'll get some more information to uh, you guys about the bow and all that happy horse shit. Um, Cam, what did you want to say? Nothing. Not oh. I don't say anything. Oh, okay. Alright, I'm going to clip the stream here. Have a great night, guys. I'll still be around for a little bit, though.